Hi, Aaron. Welcome to our new office. How's, how's it going? Hi. Good to see you. I love the I love the new lobby. Thank you. I can only imagine what's behind that door. Yep. So we've got the lobby here, and let me take you around the rest of the office. All right. So right here, you've got the reception area. Right. I want to see the good stuff. Okay, I mean, let's I want to go see to the like, good stuff. <laughs> the, the doctor part of the area. All right. I'm a little nervous, i got to be honest with you, with this whole like, sperm test and everything like that. I don't know why I create these crazy protocols and then I have to in endure them. Well, here is one of our new patient rooms. I like it. Very, uh, very professional looking, I might add. Thank you. It almost looks like a doctor's office. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get your body fat testing, Aaron? You see? No, I haven't done it yet. Yeah, you should get on there. Yeah. Those things are very inaccurate, though. I think mm -hmm. for guys of guts that are very muscular. I like the candles. It's very, very good ambiance here. Mm -hmm. I feel relaxed. And here's one of our other offices. So you have two rooms. We have two rooms that we're using right now. Where's, yes. the, where's the sperm collection room? The sperm collection room will be the bathroom. Do you have any more? <laughs> like that or anything like that? Mm -hmm. Oh, the bathroom. It's very, very unglamorous. I don't know if I could, if I could do it in here. <laughs> I, I need materials, you know. <laughs> All right. Per your suggestion, we'll put up yes. some posters. We'll put up some posters. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Now, when, how long have you guys been in this office? We have been in here a couple months. Oh, good. So, I mean, I, I, I know a lot of RX Muscle people have been telling me they've been coming down to the, uh, and uh, doing the protocols and everything like that. Have you been seeing a lot of patients? Oh, yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. And we have a new doctor. Have you met Dr. Wiley? I did meet him in the, uh, very briefly. I like him. Okay, uh, fabulous. We're going to talk to him in a little bit. He's gonna, we're going to go over the protocol that, uh, we're, that kind of I designed, but that he endorsed, obviously. Yeah. Because uh, there's a lot of guys out there that, that can't get the girls pregnant. Let's mm -hmm. face it, bodybuilders have problems with that. Sperm counts are low. And, uh, I think this is going to help a lot of people. Yeah, we've already talked to a bunch of people about it, and they say that they've tried their primary care, they've tried their urologist, and nobody seems to want to help them just because the reason that their sperm production is shut down is because of steroid use. Yeah, I went to my urologist once, and he was like, you know, we could do a sperm test on you. I said, well, are you going to prescribe anything for me? He's like, well, we really can't, you know. There's the, the protocol, I mean, the procedure to get the stuff that I knew I needed would have been so complicated. I went to 14 <laughs> office visits. You know, it's not, it, it's a pretty easy solution, but I think a lot of doctors are not comfortable because they don't really know that much yep. about it. And we've put in a lot of work. We've tried to get the best pricing. We've yes. talked to a lot of distributors. So there's been some work on our end to make sure that we have everything in place for your protocol. And, and, and I know that some of the, the compounds that I had selected were not the easiest to get. No, mm -mm. So, <laughs> But you got them. We did, we got them. All right. <laughs> All right, let's go talk to the doctor and find out a little bit more about what we're gonna do and then I'm gonna do the procedure. I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I'm gonna try to do it. <laughs> I'm not happy about the whole idea that I have to give a sperm sample and uh, that's a, a urine collection. You that's a little soldier thing <laughs> going here. I don't know if I can fill that thing up. They said you need at least this No, I can't, I can't fill that thing up. Well, you're going to have to wait. You're going to have to do it over and over. But you know what? I really, I'm kind of interested to see if, if I do have any sperm production because I, you know, I've never gotten a woman pregnant. Not that I've been trying to, but you know, it's never happened. <coughs> you might have a few, just like three or four. You got uh, Darielle pregnant. Yeah. You never know. You need one, right? That's right. That's well, right. Obviously, you want more than one there. Well, let's see what Dr. Wiley has to say about it because. Uh, I, oh, oh, there he is, is there. Hello, how are you doing? I'm Dr. Wiley. Hey, Dr. Wiley. How are things doing for you? Very today? good, very good. We were just talking, I'm a little nervous about the whole procedure, but I did design the protocol, so okay. I, I think that, you know. Uh, the protocol is actually pretty good. Uh, we've, we've taken it to a couple of different urologists and, and fertility experts, and they mm -hmm. all say it's an aggressive treatment, but it's mm -hmm. a good treatment. I'm into aggression, you know that, Aaron. You want very aggressive. Yeah. So, you know, well, you know, know what? If you want results, this will give it to you. Right. I, I look at it this way, and you know, hopefully, you know, you're the, the physician, but mm -hmm. you know, people want results fast. I mean, right. it's That's terrible fair. when you have to wait a year, you know, right. for something well, to I work. Mean, that's the society that we live in nowadays. Instant so. gratification. Exactly. There you go. But uh, this is this will definitely get mm -hmm. you there. Now, there's two protocols I designed because one was a little more expensive than the other. I understand right. the uh, Pergonol or HM, HMG. Right. Um, uh, is pretty expensive. It's very expensive right. stuff. But that's really, from what I've, my research that I've done and my experience over the years, that, that's, that that's gives the one that works. That really best. works the best, right? right? Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And that'll increase sperm production pretty you know, that, quickly. That, yes, exactly. What it, what it does is it works in the pituitary. It helps, you know, basically get your, get your, Sperm going, yeah. It causes spermatogenesis. I want, I want, I want a big growth. Of, I want a lot of sperm production right away. Aaron. Yeah, if you're trying to get somebody pregnant, that's always the best way to go about it. You know, you know, it's funny because, uh, and this is off topic, of course, no pun intended. But uh, you know, they a lot of porn stars use Pergonol. 
or how do you use it? Uh, it increases a bigger a volume of volume. semen. Yeah, it's very yeah. expensive. They, it's worth that to them to. I mean, to I guess you know. I don't know. I um, guess you know. That's your job. That's, yeah, that's, that's so. right. That's right. All right. So I'm gonna. So this is. The, I'm gonna give the sperm sample to you guys. You're gonna test to see if my sperm are low, which I assume they probably are. Okay. And then I'm gonna. Uh, I guess partake or embark on the sperm. Uh, raising protocol. There you go. And uh, you guys are going to write all the prescriptions for me, and yeah, I'm going to have it all sent to me. Exactly. We take care Absolutely. of Absolutely. Now, for the person who, the lay person, because I know a lot of people out there are watching this video and they're going to say to themselves, how do I go about doing it? Is this something that you guys will send people to a lab to give the sperm and then you guys will write the prescriptions? How does that work? Usually that's what we do. You do the sperm test at your lab. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll get the results here. And then from there we can kind of, you know, prescribe tailor, what you need. Yeah, exactly. We can prescribe what you need and kind of tailor make it uh, to you. Basically, like you said, there's two different protocols. Mm -hmm. So, you know, depending on the more expensive one, the less expensive. Exactly. Now, now, from what I understand also is if, if, if the uh, person wanting to do this is a patient of the visionary and they've seen you or one of the other physicians right. here, then they won't have to come down here again and do that. As far as I know, yes. Yeah, that's yeah. from what I from yeah. what I understand. For people who haven't seen the physician, they'll have to come down here. Right, yeah. But yeah. the good thing is if they come down here for this and then after they get their wife pregnant or, or whoever they want to get pregnant, right, right, right. Uh, they could obviously then embark on a, on a hormone replacement as well, right? right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Without having to come back and exactly. see that. Here's, here's a question. What, what about if you're on uh, on hormone replacement therapy here, mm -hmm. can you do the day of protocol while you're still being on the testosterone replacement, or is that? Well, he's the expert, no, but no, I, I don't no, think no. it would work as well. Exactly, yeah. you, have to, you have to take time. Yeah, exactly, you want to take, you want to come off of the testosterone because basically the testosterone in and of itself can suppressing the body. Suppressed. Good. Exactly, good. That's can keep, you, can keep you from making the sperm that you want to make. Sure. See, now I know Dr. Wiley said what I wrote was aggressive, but the reason I did that is because you know there's, there's there's different reasons why our body won't produce sperm. Number one, there's no stimulus to produce the sperm. Right. The HMG will do that, will create the stimulus, will tell the body to start producing sperm. A HCG will do that too, and we have those both in the protocol. Sure. Uh, HMG does it a little more potently. Then uh, you know we have a Rimidex in there, which will block the conversion of testosterone to estrogen, because estrogen is what shuts the pituitary down from producing the signal to, to tell the testicles to produce testosterone. And then I have Clomid and Olvidex in there as well, which will block the receptors in the uh, hypothalamus and the pituitary to make sure that the F, that the testicles keep producing you testosterone. All, so I got every every angle covered, you know. Exactly. So if, if this doesn't work on me, I'm done. You're I'm done. sterile, basically. Is you're, what I'm you're, saying. You're adopting. Yeah, yeah, I'm adopting. I'm gonna adopt a dog or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, all right, so. The protocols, I fill that up. Now, I understand when you, when you give a sperm sample, it's very important that it gets immediately to the lab because right. it goes I mean, bad. Usually, yeah, I think it's within at least 30 minutes that mm -hmm. they, they want to make sure right. that you get it because uh, they want to keep it on ice and you know, right. longer than that, you start to grip. You want to ice my sperm? No, no, I don't want anything to do with you. I want to stay as far away from your that's, sperm but that, The reason I ask is that's why it's better to go to a clinic locally to you and just right. give the sample there. Exactly. You know? yeah. exactly. Now, you guys don't really have like, you know, I, I'm used to seeing in, road, in, in that movie uh, Road Trip where they go give the sperm and there's like a nice room and there's like a couch and there's like I movies. Think, I don't think they have that even. No, like, all I got is a bathroom here. Say, we don't have the videos and the movies. Here. Everybody has an iPhone now, dude. Just use your iPhone. That's right. There Jimmy Pelletti is. That's his iPhone. methodology. This instant porn all on there. there. You go. All right. I guess let me let me embark on this and then you know uh, you guys will let me know what what does it take about a week to get the results back. Yeah, I usually say about a week. It might take a little bit less than that, but a week will at least give us the time to make sure that we get hmm. the results. I could be high. If I'm high, I don't have to do this. But if I'm low. The meds will be sent to me in the mail. Is that how it works? Just like Correct. the regular uh, hormone exactly. replacement goes? Exactly. Just how we do the hormone replacement. Dr. Wilder, thanks a lot, man. Pleasure. You Thank made you it Dr. easy. Thank you, Dr. You're very welcome. All right, Aaron. Only for RX muscle do I do this type of stuff here. I got my uh, little collection vial. I don't know what I got to do with this. I guess it's going to get a moist towelette. I got to clean off a little bit. But it's not really, it doesn't have to be sterile, but who the hell knows. All right, I'm going to go in there. I got a little, you gave me a, a good website for porn on yep. my phone. Yep. Yep. So that should help out a lot. And. Uh, I guess here goes nothing, right? Here he goes. All right. I hope I, you know it takes me a long time to do this, so I hope you guys are patient. Successful. Whew, yeah, successful. Don't touch it. I'm putting it right into the ice. All right, now this is going right to the lab, right? Correct. Only for RX muscle iron. I can't believe.
this kind of stuff doesn't happen very often. <laughs> I don't like to be that revealed. I don't. I don't. I don't like to be that exposed. That's, that's what I should say. It's yeah. very exposing. Would you do this if I would have asked you? If you weren't, you know, pregnant with the Darryl? probably. You know me. I'll, yeah, uh, you probably. I have no, I'm you not really like it. I'll do whatever. Yeah. All right. Well, let's see. We're gonna find out how potent I am, and then uh, if I'm not as potent as I th- as I think or suspect, we're gonna start the protocol, and we'll let you guys know how it all works out. <laughs> Ah, my Envision medical package is here. There's some good stuff in here. This is some potent baby making stuff in here. <laughs> and let's go upstairs and we'll take a look and see what's in here. And I, I think there's a lot of good goodies in here. All right, let's uh, open up this. And as you guys know, uh, this is the pregnancy protocol that I, I designed and uh, all the drugs are supposed to be in here. I hate to admit it, but my, my sperm test came back low very low. So this is going to be the test to see if, if my sperm count can go up using these, then we know the protocol works. And I'm, I'm pretty confident in my, uh, my abilities. Let's see what they put in here. Because I heard they threw a few extra goodies in here. Um, what the hell is this? Let's see. Ah, cyanocobalamin. Do you guys know what that is? For those of you out there who might know, that's vitamin B12. That is the chemical name. And uh, I guess they want me to take a couple shots of this too. I don't know how that's going to help sperm count, but it can't hurt. I guess increases protein synthesis. Uh, here is the, oh, here's the protocol on how to take the stuff. And we'll go over that after. Uh, ooh, look, they have stuff packed like, like it looks like a little, like a little Christmas gift right from the pharmacy. pharmacy. Right, let's see what's in here. All right, we got clomid, clomiphene, citrate, and then we're going to take 50 milligrams of that twice a day. Okay, that's going to, that's going to block estrogen receptors in the hypothalamus, which is going to in turn increase LH and FSH production from the pituitary gland, which will stimulate my testicles to produce testosterone and sperm. That's what we want. Very good drug. This is given to women too, to increase ovulation, but not, not good to do that in men. Now we also have Noldex, which kind of does very, a very similar effect to the Clomid, uh, but you know, it hits things from a slightly different angle. It blocks estrogen receptors as well, and will increase pituitary output of the FSH and LH, which is necessary if you want to uh, increase sperm production. So we got, we were hitting two, Double whammy, so to speak, double whammy. And then we have some anastrozole here as well. And the anastrozole, obviously, is also known as arimidex, is an aromatase inhibitor. So it'll block the conversion of testosterone into estrogen. So we'll, not only will we block the estrogen receptors, we will block the production of estrogen, which is also, uh, will shut down our bodies. Okay, that's good. Let's see what else we got in here. All right. All right, now this, this is the, the key stuff. This is called Perganol, human menopausal gonadotrope. This stuff is like 1500 bucks for this bottle. I mean, this is if you do the, the there's two protocols. There's the Day Palumbo protocol, and then there's the Super Day Palumbo protocol. The Perganol will almost like, in essence, supercharge your sperm production right off the bat. And it will, it acts like uh, the hormone uh, FSH, okay, which in women would stimulate ovulation uh, and, and production of, of eggs. In men, this will, crank sperm production tremendously. So it's like you give yourself a little kickstart in the beginning. You do the HMG, Perganol shot, uh, then you go right on to the Novidex, Clomid, and Arimidex. You keep on that. Uh, I'll do a little B12, and then I'm gonna ta- start taking my HCG shots, which is also in here, human, human chorionic gonadotropin, which will also act like Perganol, but not quite as strong in the FSH. It's more of an LH stimulator. But what we have to remember is if you produce sperm in the testicles, that in turn increases, uh, excuse me, if you produce testosterone in the testicles, that in turn will increase sperm production in the testicles. So we're hitting everything. We're taking care of the pituitary, we're taking care of the testicles, we're taking care of the signaling, we're reducing estrogen in the body, and hopefully within three, you know, anywhere from two to three months, I will see a, a dramatic increase in sperm production. Now, what I will do with that sperm production remains to be seen, okay, <laughs> because I don't really have anything to do with it right now, but it'll be interesting to see if it works, uh, because I'm sure there's a lot of you out there who have problems inseminating your, your uh, girlfriends or, or hopefully wives in that matter. And uh, Aaron Singerman seems to have super sperm because he got his wife pregnant and uh, it was no problem, but he's a little younger. But anyone out there who is looking to, to, to have kids, this is uh, important, especially if you've done anabolic steroids for several years or some people have used it as long as 15, 20 years, you might have suppressed your production in the testicles and thus suppressed your sperm production, in which case you need to boost it up. Now, evidently that's something that I have done uh, and I've been on replacement for a long time, so uh, that would keep my sperm production low. Let's see if we can raise it up. Thank you to Envision Medical. Uh, great new pregnancy protocol. Catch them at EnvisionMedical.com. Luck. 
be a lady tonight. Luck could be a lady tonight. <laughs>